Okay, boom, viewers, subscribers, back again with these quick updates because trust, if it's not foreign from King Mix Up, it's not credible, I keep on telling you that, but you don't know the thing said, people, bless. <laughs> but it's obviously not a good day for R. Kelly. As you know, the singer was sentenced just a little while ago to 20 years for child sex crimes. You know what I mean? And the singer will serve most of the sentence in a federal prison at the same time as a 30-year term um, for racketeering and sex trafficking. You feel me? All of this because of the love of young vagina. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> wow. But anyway, people, a federal judge on Thursday sentenced R. Kelly to 20 years in prison for child sex crimes after a jury found that he produced three videos of himself um, sexually abusing his 14-year-old goddaughter. Wow. So he got to run these things back to back. You feel me? The jury in Chicago convicted Mr. Kelly of six of the 13 charges brought against him in connection with sexual abuse during the 1990s, including three counts of coercing minors into sexual activity and three of producing sex tapes involving a minor. He was acquitted of a charge that he had attempted to obstruct an earlier investigation into his abuse of the goddaughter um, and two other counts of enticing minors to have sex. Federal prosecutors had argued that Mr. Kelly, 56 years old, deserved 25 years in prison on top of his earlier sentence, citing that the singer's lack of remorse as a reason he would pose a danger to society if released. And the only way to ensure, as they're quoted, he will not re-offend is to impose a sentence that will keep him in prison for the rest of his life um janice williams you know one of the prosecutors said in court on thursday a lawyer for mr kelly um jennifer argued that her client was likely to die in prison either way but if he did not he would not pose a threat in old age she is appealing the convictions in both brooklyn and chicago as in this trial, Mr. Kelly remained mostly silent during the sentencing hearing, declining to speak on his own behalf. The ruling caps a lengthy legal battle in Chicago where Mr. Kelly was once widely viewed with pride as a product of the city south side. In 2008, he was acquitted on charges of producing child sexual abuse imagery of his goddaughter with some jurors telling reporters that they had been influenced by the lack of testimony from the young woman. She had denied to a grand jury that she was the person in an infamous tape that the prosecutor showed Mr. Kelly sexual abusing and urinating on. But in last year, federal trial, um, which followed a resurgence of scrutiny over Mr. Kelly's treatment of girls, a young woman, um, the woman took the stand identifying herself as the underage girl being abused in three video snippets in which were shown to the jury. In Thursday, in Thursday's hearing, a lawyer for the woman identified in the court as Jane read a statement about how um, the repeated sexual abuse affected her life, asking that Mr. Kelly be put in jail for as long as the law allows. I'll never be allowed. I'll never be able to unsee the child pornography, she said in a statement, which was read by her lawyer, Christopher Brown. Um, no amount of therapy will make me normal and uh, with that being said don't forget to like share subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when i drop the latest bless